exercise is good for prediabetes, right? Exercise is good. If you've been diagnosed with prediabetes, you have likely been told how important exercise is. But did you know how many different types of benefits exercise can actually promote in your body? I was brainstorming this morning and I thought I would just try to give you a few insights into exercise to help sink in how important, how crucial exercise can be, how beneficial exercise can be for you. Hey there, I am Dr. Topher Fox, endocrinologist in Superior, Colorado. And when we think about exercise, exercise has just a huge number of benefits, a huge array of benefits. And so I was brainstorming this morning and thought that I would just run through seven seven benefits of exercise, not by any means a conclusive lift, uh, list, but seven benefits of exercise that I thought you might want to know about it. So number one, obviously exercise is good for muscles. It's good for muscles. It helps them to metabolize things normally, in particular glucose. So exercise we know can help to reverse insulin resistance. It uses up glycogen, which allows glucose from the bloodstream to go into the muscles. It allows you a way to get glucose or blood sugar out of your bloodstream and store it away for later without spiking your blood sugar. So number one, uh, exercise is good for your muscles and for glucose metabolism reversing insulin resistance. Number two, also on the muscles, is that exercise, particularly strength and resistance types of exercise, are known to build muscle mass. And particularly as we get older, low muscle mass is a very common risk factor for diabetes. If you have low muscle mass, it makes it harder to regulate your blood sugar after you eat carbohydrates, but it also increases risk of some simple things like frailty or following or uh, falling or bone fractures. So exercise can help to improve your muscle mass, number two. Number three, exercise is known to help your sleep. And we know that sleep that third pillar of healthy metabolism, we know that sleep is important for metabolism. And by exercising, you can help improve the quality of your sleep and in a roundabout way, also improve your metabolism. Number four, exercise is a great way. It's a proven way to help deal with stress. We know that people feel less stressed after they exercise. We know that stress tends to increase blood sugar. We also know that stress tends to turn off the uh, front part of the brain, the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain that helps you say, you know, I don't really want to do that. I don't want to eat that cinnamon roll. I don't want to stay up late and compromise my bedtime. So exercise can help to reduce stress. Number five, number five is exercise can help to lift the mood. It can help to improve your mood. And so if you're somebody who's prone toward anxiety or depression, exercise is known to be beneficial therapy for that. We know that exercise, uh, like I say, it just it lifts people's spirits. It will help you have better relationships. It will help you have more joy in your life. Number six, number six, exercise helps to improve memory and concentration. In fact, exercise is known to be one of the most powerful tools for preventing Alzheimer's disease or dementia, memory loss associated with aging. And we know that in the moment, exercise can actually help improve your concentration and your memory and your productivity to help you get more done in a shorter amount of time, which leaves you more time to do the things that you want to do. And then finally, number seven, kind of an interesting one. This comes from author Gretchen Rubin uh, and her review of the scientific literature is that exercise is this thing called a keystone habit. So we know that people who are in the habit of exercise actually find it easier to build new habits into their lives. So for instance, somebody who's trying to quit smoking is more likely to be successful if they already have the habit of exercise built into their life. So there you have it, seven quick benefits of exercise. As I wrap up today, let me know down below what are the benefits that you see from your own exercise routine or hey, if you don't have a routine just yet, what are the benefits that you are most hoping to develop when you start your exercise routine? 
Hey, until next time, Dr. Topher Fox signing out. I wish you peace. Take care.